Hey guys, this is Scott with OnlineWebClass.com and GatewayDigital.com and there was a question about how to reset your WordPress site back to a clean site and I'm going to show you how to do that using ManageWP.com. So the first thing you want to do is go into the site you want to reset. I'm going to use this site here, one of my testing sites, and the first thing we want to do is log in. And once you're logged in, go to plugins. The first thing you need to do is download the Manage WP Worker plugin. So you're going to go to plugins and add new. And under search plugins, type in Manage WP. And you're going to get this Manage WP Worker. So click install now and activate plugin. So now your next step is to go to Manage WP and get an account. ManageWP.com. And here you're just going to get started. Now, this is a free account. Uh, you can sign up for free for 14 days. If you click plans here, it will show you how it breaks down. Your standard plan up to five websites is 80 cents a website. You can have it, you can pay it monthly, annually, biannually. That's how it works. It's really inexpensive because you can do subdomains, and if they're just subdomains, it's considered all one website. So they're very cheap. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And this takes just a minute to load up all the websites that I have currently on my Manage WP. So once you're on here and you have a few websites, it goes in and it syncs everything. It only takes a few seconds. Once you've done that, you're going to go down to the bottom here where it says Add Website. And you're going to add the website URL that you just installed the Manage WP Worker into. In my case, it was scrust.info slash client portal. And it's going to ask you whether or not you have your worker installed. Since I do, I'm going to click no. I've already installed the worker and activated it. Add to manage WP. And this generally does not take very long at all. So there you go. It's already there. Go to your dashboard. And what that's going to do, this is your Manage WP dashboard. But if I click here and then go down to Site Admin, that's literally going to open up the WordPress dashboard on this client portal site. There it is. That's the back end. This is the front end. Click Client Portal. So that's what this site looks like right now. And right now we're currently in the Manage WP dashboard. If you go over here and this is the actual site to this tab. We'll go in there. All right, so this is what the site looks like. All right, so back in your Manage WP dashboard, the next step to do a clean WordPress install is to go up to this backup slash migrate and I may have put backup slash clone in the comments, but right down here is your clone and migration wizard. So click that. And it's going to ask you first to select the source. Well, since we're doing a clean website, we're going to click the drop down and go to clean WordPress. There it is, clean WordPress. And click next. Okay. And then the website that we're going to reset is my client portal website which should be down in this list right there so click that and you may create a new admin username if, if you like it usually says optional so let's go ahead and do that I'm going to do something simple and click next That's Google. All right, so now I'm going. It says source is a clean WordPress install. Destination is the scrust.info slash client portal. Next thing you do is click clone. You may think this is going to take a while, 
but it generally takes less than 60 seconds. This is really good if you have a bunch of test servers and you're you're working on projects that you're just testing out and trying different uh, WordPress methods. Here we're all done, of course. And if you're doing all of Tyler Moore's tutorials, you can you can do this as well. You build one tutorial and then come here and clean off the site and build another tutorial. So let's exit out of that. We're still in client portal. We're going to refresh the admin. And there we go. If you look here, it says clean WordPress. So this is the back end. We're in the site admin. Now if I go to the actual site and I hit refresh, there it is. Brand new clean WordPress site ready to go. Last thing I want to show you here really quick is since we're in the uh, we're in Managed WP and in this window is the actual uh, WordPress dashboard to the site we just wiped out. If we go to plugins, you'll see that all your plugins are still here. All right, so you may choose to just delete all of these and uh, by doing a bulk delete, except for the worker, I would leave the worker and then delete those to start fresh and add brand new updated plugins. Uh, the other thing I want to show you is appearance. is all your themes are still here as well. All right. And that is how you use Manage WP to reset a WordPress website that you want to start over with. In my next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to migrate or clone an existing WordPress site to a brand new WordPress site, one you've already built into another uh, domain name. Thanks for watching.